So this one is for Ohio Fred. Here's my one view, and that it doesn't fall away. I put a rock there, so now it can't fall away. This one needs charging. And then I have this machine here. I still couldn't charge it because why could I not charge it? Three hundred volt ampere, three amp. Doesn't look great. So I couldn't charge it because I didn't get my solar panel yet. I'm gonna turn this on and then I switch this thing, the AC on, and then I plug this in. So if it explodes here, so it takes seven watts, nine watts, for a brief moment, the green light is on. Okay. And then we just plug it in. Here. There, plug it in, and then here, you see it's blinking. See that? That means it's charging. Look at that. Charging here, it says red, so that means this thing is not full. And there, look at that, it does 190 watts. Look at that. Huh? So, and then we see what happens. Will it charge it all the way up or not? Um, the batteries in here are not, um, there's less batteries in here than in there. That thing has more batteries. But, uh, you see what happens. Yeah. And then, um, hopefully at one point I'm going to get solar panels. And uh, if I get a solar panel, I can charge that thing, and then with that, I can charge my one wheel. Are you looking in the sky now? You see any sun? Huh? No sun? A lot of clouds? That's what it is. That's Michigan. This here, there, that's my sunny side. See that? Trees. Clouds. So I can't wait how many days it takes for a solar panel to charge that. So we are looking at the one wheel now, but has some heat development here in the back. The charger is warm, 104 degrees. And then what do we have here? Here, so this is the power box, right? Can I move this over here? Look at that. What is the hottest spot? Is there in the corner? There. Ninety. So it's not too hot. How about here on the back? 80, 90 degrees, so that's not too bad. But most of the energy that is generated by this is converted into heat by the one wheel charger. Right? That's where it's wasted, where the energy goes into the air. It should go into the batteries instead of in the air. You know? Yep, it's not gonna happen in here. But if I take this with me in a backpack, those two, then I can charge this thing when I get stuck because the range, you know? No more range anxiety. Just have to carry this with me in the hopes that this thing here doesn't explode. So we're here now after a few minutes. This thing is off. Here is off, it's still hot. Um, one wheel shows the full bar there, so I have to look up in the app where it stands. So as we can see this here, so 94% it charged, only 94%. This thing is still hot. 
turned off. I disconnected it here and I'm going to turn it back on to see what happens. And it indicates it's dead, empty, no more energy left. So all I need to do or can do now is get a solar panel out and wait for the sun to come out to charge this. I need a panel though. Yeah, that's how that goes. Okay, again, a quick shout out up here. Click on his channel, Ohio Fed. He has the same thing here for camping and he is charging his with solar panels.